If we solve a homogeneous Sagaton equation, we need two independent solutions. We know the notion of linear independence from linear algebra, and for functions we have the same idea. But how do we see this? Fortunately, we have an easy way to check this, as long as our functions are nice enough. We can use the so-called Ronskin, which we will introduce in this video. So, what's the idea? We have some second order problem with uh, conditions y at 0 equals a where prime at 0 equals b, some numbers don't care which ones. Then if we have two independent solutions, y1 and y2, then our total solution equals c1 times y1 plus c2 times y2. But when do we have independent solutions? Well, what we need to be able to do is to compute a c1 and c2. So at 0 we have c1 y1 of 0 plus c2 y2 of 0 equals a. And similarly, y prime at 0 equals b equals c1 y prime plus c2 y plus c2 y2 prime. So if we write this as a matrix equation, we have this matrix over here, times c1 c2 equals a b. And that gives us the right idea. If this matrix here is invertible, then we can find our c1 and c2, regardless of what a and b we have chosen. So we want this matrix to be invertible. And we will call this matrix the Ronsky matrix W, consisting of y1, y1 prime, y2, and y2 prime. And then we have a theorem which, sa which says that if y1 and y2 are analytic, so if they are nice, then uh, the set is independent if and only if the determinant of W is not equal to zero. And if that is the case, then we have a set of independent functions y1 and y2, and such a set is called a fundamental set of solutions. So the determinant of some simple matrix has to be non-zero. So what happens in a specific example? We had this problem here, y double plus y prime minus 6y equals zero. We found solutions, e to the power minus 3x and e to the power 2x. Put them in the Ronsky matrix, so y1 and y1 prime, and y2 and y2 prime in the second column. We compute the determinant. 2 times e to the power minus x minus minus 3 times e to the power minus x gives us 5 times e to the power minus x, which is not equal to 0, which means that our set y1, y2 is a fundamental set of solutions. 